You just booked your first surprise engagement shoot. Congratulations. But now you want to make sure you capture these special moments perfectly. I have your back. Let's dive in. A proposal shoot can be nerve wracking and it's up to you to capture the beginning of a couple's love story. So you got to get it right. Today we'll talk about preparation, gear, and how to confidently execute a shoot like this. When capturing a lifetime memory, the most important thing is preparation. Hop on the phone or have a meeting with the person proposing to talk about location, body cues, and position towards the camera. Discuss what the best type of location is for your couple and what's doable for you. Make suggestions on time of day and background. And if there's time for a walkthrough prior to the shoot, I would highly suggest it. Your location and time of day will let you know what type of lighting to expect and what gear you should bring. So for today's shoot, I'll be using the Sony a7R4 with the 24-70 f2.8. I already know for the big surprise, I'll need to be a bit far back. So I'll be using the 70 to 200 telephoto to be able to still capture the moment up close. I'll pack two 128 gigabyte memory cards so there's no chance of memory problems, extra batteries, a 90 millimeter macro lens to get that close up shot of the ring post surprise and an external flash just in case. When it comes to shoots like these, you wanna make sure you have extra gear on hand. You never know what may happen, so you wanna be overly prepared. And finally, a bottle of champagne for a prop and a gift for your happy couple. Great, our gear is packed. Let's get our incognito outfit and head to our location. Okay, I've arrived at the proposal location in Hoboken, New Jersey. You should always arrive at least an hour before so you don't feel rushed when setting up. I have my camera and my 70 to 200 lens, which will be my main lens for the proposal. Proposals happen much faster than you'd expect, so your camera should be ready to keep up. Your shutter speed should be no less than 160th of a second to freeze motion, but also take your focal length into account. Our ISO, depending on your light, should be as low as possible to maintain image quality. A safe aperture would be an f5 or a 5.6, depending on the lighting conditions, although you can adjust this to wherever you are comfortable shooting at. I'll set my camera to high continuous shooting or burst mode, that way I don't miss a single moment. Discuss a body cue with the person proposing so you know when it's go time. And once you know, just start shooting. Okay, he just texted me, it's go time. Let's get incognito. proposal was a huge success. Now we're going to pop some champagne and take some engagement shots. I have my 24 to 70 lens and the macro lens to get a nice detailed shot of this gorgeous ring. over the moon for the happy couple. The proposal was a huge success and we had a blast taking all the engagement shots. Leave a congrats in the comments below and let us know if you'd like to see more videos like these. I'm Maria and thanks for watching.